Hey guys, it's Danny here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a proper shroud for your condenser. Now a shroud for you guys who don't know what it is, is a little cover here in which surrounds our condensing our condenser making our fan much more efficient because of the airflow dynamics. So once you put the shroud here, you guys can sort of see that we're going to have a more of a airflow this way, which is what we want. And in doing so, will cause our refrigeration system to be much more efficient. Now, first step is, what you want to do is grab a piece of cardboard. We're gonna make our shroud out of cardboard. There are basically only two types of shrouds that I've seen. One is plastic and the other one is, uh, actually there's three types. There's one that's plastic, there's one that's cardboard, and uh, metal ones that come straight from the manufacturer. But we're just gonna do the cheap way. I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of cardboard here. I have a cardboard box I got from my neighbor. Uh, <laughs> This to be knife, uh, beef inside, but yeah, anything is will do. Uh, you want to get try to get a big flat piece. And first step is that you want to cut out a narrow strip. I'm going to be using my Milwaukee knife. And just cut off all the flaps. I prefer knife, but you can be, I guess, these scissors. Arm flap down. Try to make your cuts as clean as possible because it'll look nice in front of the customer when they see the condensing in it. There we go. Now both sides of the strip to flap the cut. And now we have a long strip. Don't mind these handles. I'm probably just gonna cut them out later. Okay, now we have to go to the unit and do some measurements. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so when we do now, is measure out the height of the condenser coil right now as you can see we are sitting at 13 inches on both sides and then we're going to go the length which we have across the condenser sitting at say 16 and a half inches Give it a little room for some inaccuracies. So 16 and a half by 13. Okay, so now guys it's we have to measure right down the measurements so we got two sides of at 13 inches plus the length of the condenser coil which was uh, 16 and a half add the two up we get 42 
and a half. So this is the total length we need of our shroud. So I'm just going to cut 42 inches from this side, 42 and a half inches, and keep the piece and throw the excess away. Okay, and now the last step. Place your cardboard on top and make sure you place it correctly, exactly where you want the ends to meet. Start from one end using set and using self-tapered screws. Drill on both sides and you should be good. And there you guys go. That is how you make a shroud. As you guys can see, my shroud is covering the fan blade of the condenser fan motor and fully covering my condenser coil, which is exactly what you need when you make a proper shroud for proper air movement across your coil. Now, as you guys can see, I do have spray paint in my hand. I'm probably gonna spray this. It's optional, but this looks much nicer once you despray it. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video interesting and you learned how to make a shroud. So next time you are on the drop site and your condenser coil doesn't have one, you can easily build one on the spot and make some extra money. That is it folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. If you loved it, please smash that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.